shooting the gun. 10 <laughs> 4. Oh, man. All right, hey, Kyle Lance Martin here with Revive Florida. Yeah, Revive Florida. Can you imagine two years ago, we were here in Sarasota, but here's the best thing. We had breakfast with our team. We're eating at First Watch. Why? Because we actually believe, as we've been watching what the Lord's been doing in Florida, that God's doing something special in Tampa. So today, we're meeting with a very small group of pastors because God's been ordaining this thing for a long time. Now our question is, is how? So we're gonna walk into this and ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, would you connect our hearts? And if he does, we believe that Tampa just might be on the horizon. Who would have thought Revive Texas, Gateway would make a connection? Who would have thought that coming to Orlando Conference would make a connection? Who would have thought that guys handing out flyers would make a connection? But God is in this and he's putting together an incredible team and using the Revive Florida missionaries, the, the, the Time Revive national team, and. Who knows, we might just see a, a move of God in the state of Florida. So be praying for what God's doing in Tampa. Thanks. I'm so excited to vote today. Woo, 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 woo. Here we, we go. Ready to go. So today we're going to Tampa. Second pastor's meeting in Tampa. Uh, pastor Tony is hosting us at the Lighthouse Revival Center. Just waiting to see what God's gonna do. Father, we pray like the brother said that we declare that this is an unquenchable fire that cannot be contained. And any fire that is self-contained will eventually burn out. Time to Revive, Revive Florida is not a self-contained fire. It is a fire that starts by spreading and, and actually to work it right demands that it must spread. And I've been praying, God brought me to Tampa and there's been times when I've had an opportunity to leave and the Lord said, no, this is your Jerusalem. And so um, I'm saying, God, would you birth a fire here in this place? But it's got to be bigger than me. This is it. And I truly believe that this revival is exactly what God wants to do in this region. One of the key signs of a true revival is ecumenical unity, where God brings people together across different denominations, where they unite around the gospel. And God does something beyond what any person or church or even denomination can uh, can do. I saw churches coming together from all different groups. I mean, we had Amish, Baptist, Methodist, Charismatic, Pentecostal people coming together and worshiping, and I had never seen that before in my life. When the saints get equipped to do the work of ministry, it, it's not reinventing anything, it's just simply walking out the gospel. 